Good afternoon, it's Jan from Twink Stamping. I am an independent stamping up demonstrator. Come along today to um, show you a little project I've been working on. Um, every year I like to make homemade uh, gifts for uh, customers and for my ladies who come to class. And I like them to be quick little projects um, and obviously inexpensive projects because I have quite a few to make. Um, so I've just come along today to show you how I put these together. They're little notepads, tiny little notepads, fit nicely into your handbag. Um, and I've used all the um, pretty colours from the brand new um, papers and in colours from Stampin' Up. Yeah, so I just thought it would be a nice quick very quick um, project to do um, and as I say they make nice little gifts for you to hand out at Christmas or for just a little thank you gift uh, to your customers okay so shall we get started they're really beautiful the sentiment is actually from a retired set um, I believe it was called uh, do, 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 do. It was called Wishing You Well, um, but I really do love that set. I've used it on a lot of personal cards, but I've not um, actually used it a lot on um, cards in the class. I think we've used it a couple of times, um, but I'm just using this little note here that says just a, just a note. Because it's nice and small and it fits perfectly into the... Um, into the sentiment circle there. That circle is from, uh, it's from a new set that we've got and it's um, tasteful label dies. Those are the labels there. All oh, the papers turned over there. But yeah, we're using the larger one. Okay, I'm gonna show you from scratch. I'm not gonna cut anything out beforehand. I'm just gonna um, show you exactly how I've made it. Obviously, you can you can make these any size. Um, very very easy to uh, put together. So whatever you've got, you just measure. You just measure, and then you add um, a piece for your spine uh, where you're going to do your scoring. Um, I usually add maybe a quarter of an inch or. Um, a centimetre depending obviously how wide it is uh, yeah so that's all you really do and you obviously measure it from side to side and just add a fraction maybe an eighth of an inch um, so that it doesn't poke out the side okay so we'll get started going to need I'm going to do this one in um, poppy parade I seem to have um, be drawn to this colour I think it's because it goes very well with the papers from the um, ooh, flowers for every season papers and it just matches it I'm actually waiting if I'm honest I'm waiting for a delivery from stamping up it's coming tomorrow and it's going to um, um, have lots of uh, the new in colours uh, at first, I I generally order um, the mixed pack. There's only a few sheets of each card stock, colour card stock, in colour card stock, um, just to see how I work with them. Um, and I, as you know, I've fallen in love with the Magenta Madness, so I've ordered some of that separately and see how I get on with that because I know that I've I've got cards, I've got class kits to make. And um, I'm definitely going to be using that colour. I think my ladies are going to love the project that um, I've come up with. Um, yeah, so anyway, Poppy Parade. And this is one of the papers. I haven't used this one yet. This is one of the papers that I'm going to be using from the Flowers for Every Season. And that's what we're going to use as the cover. Okay, so you need to put your piece of A4 card in, a uh, portrait. And you need to cut it, oh, hang on a minute, yeah, you're going to need to cut it at, 
uh, three inches. Three inches by eight and three quarter inches. Eight and three quarters inches. So for you ladies that like metric, that was uh, 7.6 centimetres by 22 centimetres. Okay, right, we're back to inches again. And we're going to score it at four and a quarter inches. Four and a quarter and four and a half inches. And for you ladies, who like your metric, 11.4 and 10.7 centimetres. And we're just going to fold over those score lines and just burnish them, give them a nice crisp, a nice crisp edge. Okay, and that is going to be your front cover. Then you're going to need a piece of DSP and that is going to measure four and a quarter inches. Oh, four and a quarter by, oh, now then. Yes, I've got it round the right way. Oh, have I? No, I haven't. Oh, that is a, the classic error, that is, because that is, ah, oh, no, that's okay. That's okay. Um, What did I measure it for? Four and a quarter. Hmm. No, it, it, I did cut it wrong. I did cut it wrong. I mean, it's it's not lost, but I've wasted paper. Uh, two and seven eighths. Two and seven eighths by four and a four and one eighth. Should we start those measurements again? You need DSP at four and one eighth of an inch that way and 2.78 of an inch that way and remember if you're using directional paper that you've got your paper around the right way see I've wasted these they're not wasted because I can use them for other things but had I cut it correctly the first time um, I wouldn't have this much over or not so many pieces over should I say and all we're going to do is Put that on the front of there. I'm going to get rid of that. So as I say, this is really is a very, very quick project. I just thought I'd show you so you can maybe um, start your Christmas little bits and pieces early. Who knows whether we'll be having Christmas craft fairs or anything this year. Not sure, although here in the UK we've um, they've started to relax the rules a bit more. It's now down to one metre social distancing. So it all seems to be progressing along, but we just don't know, do we? Um, these other countries are now having a second spike, which is slightly worrying, but... We'll see. We're just going to have to wait it out, aren't we? Okay, so that's that. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut a circle out. And I'm going to cut this using the circle die. Oops, I should just get my, my uh, what you call it, machine. <laughs> My die-cutting machine. I can't wait for Stampin' Up's new one to come out. That should be coming out shortly. And then we'll be have, I'll be able to use the smaller one because you know there's going to be two die-cutting machines coming out. One about this size, I presume, and one that's a small one, small portable one. And be great for dies like this much easier especially on your desk save a lot of space that's it that's all we're going to be doing with that put that back again okay. 
So I'm not going to put it away completely just in case my stamping goes wrong. Okay. Now, what have I done with that? Just a little note. Now, this only just fits across the page. Only just. So, such a pretty font on this one. We take it to the side again. I'm sorry, but then I can sort of look over it without banging the ca uh, camera. Just to note, how pretty is that? Just dry that off a little bit. Uh, you're also going to need some ribbon, which I've got from the Forever Flower Flowers for Every Season combo pack which I showed you yesterday, or the day before, or whenever it was. Um, it's the different colours, all the different colours. The white, the uh, gingham green, just jade, the misty misty moonlight, white and silver. Um, uh, it's, it's not really cord, it's uh, like a linen, it's a thread. It's a thread, that's what it is, thread. And they're very nice. So all I did with that is kind of measured out roughly. Quite difficult measuring out ribbon. That's all I did with that. Turned it over. Actually just put a little tiny drop off. Glue. Ribbon's not the easiest of things, is it, to um, glue? Just hold that for a minute. Doesn't always stick. It, it hasn't stuck. It's just typical. Okay, I'm just going to put Lots of glue. Now, the reason I did this flat was because if you are going to give it as a gift and somebody wants to keep it in their handbag or wherever, if it's up on um, if it's up on dimensionals, you know what I haven't done, don't you? I'm going to stop myself right there. I haven't glittered it yet. I can do it. I can still do it. Once again, I do love my glitter and I do like to put it on projects like these because I do think it makes a difference. I'm getting covered in glow, but it's worth it. Okay, get my glitter pot. I'm going to have to do this carefully now. Don't get it all over the back. That glow really does look yellow, doesn't it? It's, only, it's a brand new pot. Quite handy, actually. It's just stuck to my finger there. Not going anywhere. Except I've got glue all over my fingers now. Oh. Okay. Try and save it. And that's it, simple as that. Just as simple as that. But it's a nice little gift, this is, especially as a little thank you, you know. It's not going to stick. I'm going to keep my finger on that for a minute. So I'd, I would bring back my little lined notepad. These I picked up um, very reasonably from, um, I can't remember the name of the place now, but I bought a big pack of them, very reasonably priced. As I say, they just made nice little Christmas gifts. 
Um, I like to put something like this in the Christmas gift bags to my ladies. And also like using them as thank you gifts. I'm going to put glue on the back of this. I'm going to pop it in here. Hopefully I'm going to get it straight before I have to start wriggling it about because it won't like being wriggled about. There you go. Now how quick was that and how lovely it looks. I'd be really pleased if somebody went to the effort of making something for me. You know, we all like a little handmade gift, don't we? So I'm not going to put gems or anything like that on it because I do think that, um, as I say, if you put it in a handbag or something, you, you'd more than likely lose it. You'd more than likely lose it. So there you go. Got all the different colours there. Using the misty, misty uh, moonlight with this one. This one was the poppy red with some paper... Um, you know, magenta and poppies with uh, poppy parade on it you've got the cinnamon cider the just jade the bumblebee and again magenta madness seven little you can tell that i'm in the mood for um batch making i wanted to get everything started so there you go thank you for um stopping by today and watching I know it's not to everyone's taste making things like this. People do like to make cards, but I also love to make a project as well. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Um, down below are all my contact details uh, for my online shop if you wish to purchase anything. Um, I join my team link is down there if you wish to join my team. Um, my blog details are also there. And of course, my email address is down there too if you wanted to... Uh, contact me for any reason if you've got any questions or anything so thanks again and i'll see you later bye